Okay, well, after a lot of trial and error, I'm finally able to play this fucking game again. If you haven't heard the story about why I wasn't able to jump into this sooner, then check out my previous video. What you're going to be watching here is essentially my first run of Repentance. I did do a little bit of testing beforehand. <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm, I'm also excited, Lazarus, thank you. Got off on my first pill that I've used on this game was immediately a, a, a detriment, immediately a handicap. Um, but yeah, so this is my first full run, I'm going to be unlocking Bethany here, and I mainly just wanted to use this as a vehicle to talk over some of the changes, talk about some of what's different. Already we're seeing things that are different here. You know, the first shop on floor one is open by default, there's a sack for sale. There's a lot different, and it's not just visual changes, like there's a lot of core mechanics that have been changed in this. Um, mostly for the better, I'd say. I don't think anything really stands out to me as being like a like a toxic change that needs to be addressed. Um, for the most part, I I'm pretty happy with what's been changed in Repentance. Having said that, I've only done three runs. I've only done three runs. I've done this run that you're watching now, and I've done two runs as Bethany. Bethany seems like a very, very strong character. Um, just throwing that out there right now. One thing that I have seen people complain about I like how this pill's already fucking me over. Is the increased difficulty. Um, as a general rule, normal mode has apparently been made easier. I don't know, I haven't played on normal mode in... I couldn't even tell you how long. Um, so I don't know what's different there. Apparently normal mode's been made easier, but hard mode has been made harder. And yes, I did intentionally suicide into Ragman there. Um, because fuck Ragman, I'm not going to waste any time on him. Just saying right now, I'm not covering the alternate pathways on this run, we're just going through a normal playthrough because I want to get a feel for the general balance changes, if you know what I mean. Stuff like, you know, different enemy behavior, shot speed, things like that. Shot speed is actually one of the big ones that people on Reddit were complaining about. It kind of feels like... Oh, here's a new enemy, by the way, these little yellow things. Um, it kind of feels like enemies have a permanent speed up applied to their shot speed specifically, like a broken stopwatch or, well, excited. And then obviously when they're under the, an, an actual speed up effect, it gets even more um, egregious. I don't think it makes that much difference. I think people are really overplaying how much harder it is to dodge things. Like, look at that little thing that's on screen right there. I'm still able to dodge around its, you know, eight-way projectiles. They are faster, but they're not that much faster. I think people are maybe maybe blowing this change out of proportion a little bit. Um, but yeah, so far I'm pretty happy, honestly. Um, there's been a couple of changes that I was really hoping would get implemented, and for the most part they have. Um, maybe not the way that I imagined them being, um, but it works, you know, it, it, it works for the design. Um, one change actually coming up right here, after killing this fucking thing. I always took an issue with how bone hearts were handled in Afterbirth Plus, because... If you were going for a soul heart build, they tended to clog up the left side of your health meter, and they could be quite hard to get rid of after a while. But as you see here, when I get to this devil room, the cost is still being, the cost is still being applied in red hearts. You can actually pay for devil deals using bone hearts now, um, and I do. I have no idea what these items are, but I'm going to take them anyway. Um, obviously, I know what they do now. But that, to me, is a really sensible decision, because it just adds that extra degree of flexibility when it comes to growing your character. It means that you don't have to worry about... There would be times where... Um, I'll explain what that item does in a second, by the way. You can see me looking very confused in the footage. Um... But there were times where I'd pick up a bone heart in Afterbirth Plus, but then I'd think, well, I'm not going to do anything with this because I'm going for a soul heart build. You know, I want to make use of the Polaroid, the negative, Whore of Babylon, etc, etc, etc. So I'd intentionally get hit immediately and just destroy the bone heart. Thereby, you know, it was completely wasted. So allowing them to be used for devil deals, that makes a lot of sense. That sh it should have just been that way in the first place. Um, challenge rooms also, since that's what's happening on screen right now, 
These have been massively improved as far as I'm concerned. They're a lot harder now, but that's kind of what challenge rooms should be, if you ask me. Beforehand, because enemies always spawned, you always got the same enemy waves, depending on which floor you were on. So, it just became a matter of rehearsing, you know, okay, what enemy waves can I expect, where do they spawn, and then you'd almost, you'd kill them preemptively, you'd kill them the moment they appeared on screen, because you've done it, you know, 500 fucking times beforehand. There's a lot more variety to the types of enemies that spawn in now, and generally speaking, the waves are a lot harder, so challenge rooms are a bit more meaningful. You know, there's, a, there's more of a risk-reward to it, instead of it just being a pile of free stuff that you just get. Um, I guess I'll talk about the two items I picked up as well, because they're interesting. Um, these little black holes that I'm shooting, um, those are from Ocular Rift. Yeah. <laughs> Get it. Um, it essentially works kind of like Explosivo or something along those lines, where, depending on your luck stat, you'll periodically fire up what's basically a black hole shot. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this item, it, it got me hit on a few occasions. Um, because it's it sucked an enemy towards me when I didn't want when I when when I wasn't ready or it sucked a projectile towards me. Um, but it can be very strong. It kind of falls into that you know fire mind explosivo category where it's good when it works. <laughs> it's it's good when it decides to cooperate. Um, the other item that I picked up, um, blood omen. I think it's called Blood Oath. It's Blood Oath. I'm sure it's Blood Oath. I'll double check if I'm wrong, then I'll edit a thing on screen right now. This item's really weird. Um, while you have it, yeah, see there, the fucking black hole holds my bomb away from the shopkeeper. Um, someone's gonna say that. Like, Why were you shooting in this shop? F fuck you. <laughs> Basically, um, yeah, how Blood Oath works is at the start of every floor it will empty out all of your red heart containers including bone hearts and give you a damage boost um, proportionate to the number of heart containers that it emptied out. I feel like this was specifically made for Magdalen um, and I'm gonna complain about Magdalen in the future you you <laughs> you wait for it. So many fucking people took issue with my tier placement in the big video like Oh my god, you're not you're not gonna like you're not gonna like the next tier list, put it that way. Um, yeah, I feel like it was specifically made for her. I imagine the Forgotten would really appreciate it as well. I haven't played as him yet, so I don't know if he's any different. Um, but it's a cool item, it's a cool way of emptying out red heart containers if again you're going for a soul heart build, um, and you don't wanna have to, you know, perpetually hold like a temperance card or IV bag or something so you can empty them out. No, that's very cool. Plus it actively rewards you for doing so, um, which I like. Uh, for the record, in case you weren't paying attention to the character unlock screen, um, to unlock Bethany, you have to beat a hard mode run. Well, kind of. The game says beat a hard mode run as Lazarus without reviving. You don't actually have to complete the whole run, you just have to kill it lives. So, I didn't know that, um, whatever, it doesn't matter. It, it's not terribly difficult, I mean, Lazarus sucks, but he's, you know, not the most unbalanced gimmick character in the game, put it that way. Um, speaking of which, apparently the Keeper's been buffed, um, massively, from what I can tell. Again, haven't tried it myself yet, we'll need to see how well those buffs work in practice. Um, it might be just kind of, you know, quality of life changes, it might actually make him good. It kind of sounds like it will. It sounds like his buffs are actually really meaningful, so... We'll see. Um, it's kind of a shame jumping in on a completed save file like this, because there's almost, there's less to do. If you know what I mean, like, there's less motivation to think Oh, I'll go fight Delirium with the Keeper now, because I've, I've kind of already done that. Um, but, hey, you know, I'll give him a try at some point. Hooray for Magic Mush. That item seems way more common now. I've, I've found Magic Mush a couple of times since getting Repentance. Um, but yeah, there's tons of stuff that... Tons, tons of minor changes to think about. Um, nothing that's really worth losing sleep over. Like, occasionally you'll find rocks with... Uh, either bits of crystal or like bits of broken glass or something sticking out of them and if you touch them you take damage but I mean they're blatantly obvious and they're not difficult to avoid so 
they're more a clumsiness trap than anything else. Um, that having been said, I know that the alternate floors, um, so Mausoleum, Dross, Downpour, etc., are more or less a new game. Um, so I'm kind of holding off before I go through those. I, I, I want to take my time with this. I want to actually appreciate the changes for what they are, rather than just being like, oh, here, let me throw myself into the new floors and see what happens. I, 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 want, to, I want to enjoy this one. I want to savor it a bit. See, there goes the uh, Blood Oath again. Really abusable with Bone Hearts, <laughs> just, just saying. Um, I could have definitely abused it better, but when I was recording this, um, keep in mind this is my first proper run, I didn't know what any of these items do, so I'm, I see this thing stab me at the start of every floor and I think, okay. Um, eventually I do cotton onto it, I mean it's not rocket science, so, you know. Um, but one thing I wanted to, to kind of ask people is, what, what would you guys like to see from Repentance? Because, as far as I'm concerned, I don't really want to sit there and record every single possible run with every single character, you know, that's going to get really boring. It's like, oh, here I am fighting the new final boss. New final boss is crazy, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet. But, you know, it's like, oh, here I am fighting it as the Keeper, here I am fighting it as Blue Baby, etc, etc, etc. It's not going to be that different. So, I'm thinking, I'm leaning more towards doing edited content style, so doing like a, like a collection of like, here are noticeable differences fighting the boss with this character, boss with that character. Even then though, it's so run dependent that I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. Um, I've also thought about doing some live commentary stuff. I normally don't like doing live commentary because I feel like there's more that can go wrong in terms of the final video. Also, I'm just not very good at live commentary in general. I find I, I like being able to see what's happening after the fact. Then I can kind of, you know, base base what I'm saying on, on the footage. But let me know. Um, let me know what you'd like. Like I said, I've already recorded a run with Bethany. Um, that run was insane, by the way. Absolutely ridiculous run. One of the most stupid over-the-top runs I've ever had on, on any on any version of Isaac. It was absolutely ridiculous. I got, like, everything. It was crazy. <laughs> I think I got... Oh, I think I got maybe six or seven completion marks with Bethany in one run. It was it was pretty good. Um, it was a pretty good time. But if I do do live commentary, um, my other question is, what do people talk about when they play this game? Because, I mean... It's Isaac. We we know Isaac. It's, you know... <laughs> Even here I'm kind of struggling to, to formulate sentences on it. Like, I remember I'd play this game... Uh, I used to play this game with someone fairly regularly. And we'd just sit there, you know, both on our respective laptops. Kind of just yakking away over Isaac. But I don't remember anything of what we talk about. Um, I'm not really big on doing, like, shared personal stories or anything like that. I, I would prefer to keep kind of that barrier intact, if you know what I mean. Um, like, when I talk about games, I prefer to actually talk about the game, not so much. Here's what I've been doing in my life. <laughs> you know, because big spoilers, pandemic, I haven't been doing much with my life. I don't think many people have been doing much with their lives for the past year. Um, especially not in the UK, Jesus Christ. So, I don't know. Um, I'm quite happy to continue kind of commentating over runs like this, or I could try doing live commentary stuff and then just edit out any of my weird fumbles or me stuttering and mumbling like an absolute idiot. Let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see. Um, I'll definitely be recording all of the meaningful new content, so completion marks with Bethany and Jacob, um, all the new floors, all the new bosses, I'll definitely be recording all that. Um, and then there's the matter of the tainted characters, <laughs> which is terrifying for me, because, I mean, is it really spoilers at this point? I've had, like, two or three people comment on the tier list video about this, and I think it's common knowledge now. Um, they've doubled the cast <laughs> in Repentance. There's now a tainted version of every character in the game, 
and they all have their own completion marks. And this is partly why I'm against the idea of recording, you know, every permutation of every run with every character. Because that's 34 fucking characters to work with, you know? Um, even if we ignore the, the Repentance exclusive characters, that's still a lot. And I just... Or, or even if we only include the Repentance exclusive characters, I know what I mean. Even if we only focus on the new stuff, so, you know, Bethany, Jacob, and all the Tainted characters, that's still like 20 fucking runs, and, ah, uh, that's asking a lot. So, I'm not sure, I might just do kind of a general character showcase, I think that would be best. You know, kind of showcasing, here's how Tainted's Kane works, here's his mechanics, here's his gimmick, here's some items that are good for him and some synergies to keep in mind. I think that would be the best way forward. Um, again, let me know. Um, but aside from that, I'm kind of just surprised that I'm even able to do this in the first place. If you saw my previous video, it was more or less me just saying, I can't record this game, sorry. Um, to the point where I even, I, I even tried the Switch version just to kind of prepare something for when Repentance inevitably hits consoles. But what I'm doing to run this game now is I'm using an application called Play on Mac, and it's essentially a... God, how can I word this? It's essentially an extension of Wine. Um, by the way, I'm seeing all these new enemies on screen, and I, I barely know what half of them do. I'm just trying to stay alive. <laughs> You'll see this towards the end of the playthrough as well. I see all these new enemies and I'm just like, okay, don't know what you're going to do, don't know what your shot patterns are going to be like, just kill it before it moves. <laughs> just kill it before it hurts me. Um, what was I saying? I've already forgotten. Yes, um, so it's essentially, Play on Mac is essentially an extension of Wine. I'm running the Windows version of Steam in order to play Repentance that way, and I was concerned that it wouldn't run very well, or there'd be horrendous amounts of lag, or it would crash, or... There's always something wrong with Wine, in my experience. It never works how I want it to, and I don't know if that's just because I'm bad. Probably. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I make this up as I go along. Um, but, yeah, see there, the fucking black hole got me hit. Also, you can now have empty red heart containers. It's very disconcerting to look at. Like, I feel like I should be dead now. Do you know what I mean? It, <laughs> it bothers me. It's, it goes against everything I know about Isaac. Um, yes, emulation. Um, Windows version of Steam. That's how I'm playing this. It runs perfectly, as far as I can tell. If there's an issue further down the line, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For the time being, I'm assuming that I have full access to the whole game, nothing's gonna glitch out, nothing's gonna go missing, I'm not gonna have any deleted saves or anything like that. It seems to sync with the cloud saves perfectly fine, it kept all of my progress and all of my unlocks from Afterbirth Plus. I don't think there are any issues. Um, I guess we'll deal with it later if there are. Um, at least I can play the game. You know, worst case scenario, I wouldn't be able to record it for one reason or another, but at least I can play the game because, I'm not gonna lie to you, it really did bum me out that Repentance wasn't coming to Mac. Um, you know, it's a small thing. At the end of the day, it's an add-on for a video game. It's not the end of the world, but it's just nice to have something to look forward to. You know what I mean? Especially nowadays. Like, when I think about what I'm looking forward to on a day-to-day -day basis, it's basically just what am I going to have for dinner tonight? When am I going to see my girlfriend? That's about it, really. So, it was a small thing, but it, it, it you know, was more upsetting than it should have been. Also as well, because there was the expectation of me doing a follow-up video. Um, that played a part as well. This room looks like a fucking nightmare. I'm so glad I had flight for this room, Jesus Christ. Like, that's gonna test my fucking patience. You, you'll notice when I play Isaac, I'm, I'm very gung-ho. You know, if I have, like a, like, a suicide item or something, I'll use it constantly. If I can plow into an enemy with Sacrificial Dagger and kill them even just a tiny bit faster, then I always will. I have no regard for my own safety when I play this game. I'm a <laughs> very reckless Isaac player. 
I don't know if you noticed there as well, but the, the battery pickup that I just got for Book of Revelations didn't actually charge the book all the way. It only gives you two units now. So, yeah, that's a fairly meaningful change. Um, it's going to make game breaks a lot harder. Um, it's going to make you know certain character setups a lot less viable. But maybe that's a good thing. Um, you know, after Buff Plus, I feel like once you once you get into the mindset, once you kind of attune yourself to how it works and, and what it expects from you can be quite easy after a while. Um, you know, I often found myself fighting Hush or fighting Delirium kind of just for <laughs> just for something to do with, you know what I mean, because a standard run going to Blue Baby or the Lamb just didn't really, it didn't hit that spot for me anymore. It, was, it had gotten stale, it had gotten repetitive, so yeah, um, I'm really hoping that Repentance can kind of keep its momentum a bit longer, because this is the final update as far as we're concerned, right? They're not doing any more after this. This is, as we look at it right now, this is Isaac, the, the finished game, the, the final product. You know, I hope... I don't know. If, if there is another update after this, I hope they kind of communicate things a little bit better. Um, this is Ed McMillan, so... You know, maybe that's asking for too much, but... There were so many delays, there were so many promises being made constantly, just, you know, oh, we'll definitely find out about it this month, we'll definitely find out about something then, and I know there's been a pandemic, but this was ongoing before the pandemic, you know, we really... There were long periods of no information regarding this game, there were, there were you know, a lot of stretches where we didn't really know what was happening with Repentance anymore. And then obviously, you know, there's the whole not coming to Matt kerfuffle, but that's not really his fault, so I'm not going to criticize him too much for that. Anyway, we're nearly... Uh, how far are we into the video? About 20 minutes in. Um, this is partly why I'm leaning towards doing edited content as well, because spending half an hour talking over Binding of Isaac footage repeatedly is... <laughs> that's going to get tiring. Um, I'm already sick at the moment. Um, well, I say that, I'm, I'm getting over a cold, um, which, you know, nowadays that doesn't really get you any sympathy at all. <laughs> if you're unwell and it's not coronavirus, then people tell you to count your blessings. And, and fair enough, I get that, um, but it's still unpleasant. I catch colds really easily. So if I sound a bit stuffy or if I sound a bit congested, then you know why. Um, there might be a couple of times where I've had to cut the recording along the way. Um, sorry. <laughs> if so. But anyway, I think in terms of a tier list video, this was what I was starting to say before, because that's kind of what everyone's asking at the moment is, are you going to do a tier list video? Are you going to do a tier list video? I have absolutely no idea how to handle the tainted characters. I, st I started saying this before and then I got distracted. 34 characters in a tier list for a non-competitive single-player game, yes, I know it has co-op now, but it's not its not competitive multiplayer. How is that going to work? Uh, I feel like that video is going to be like an hour long if I do anything resembling the previous format, because I would want to talk about each character at least a little bit. I don't just want to say, Maggie, bad. Like, no, I want to talk about how... But I want to talk about why each character is in the place that they're in. You know, I, I like to justify my opinions whenever possible. You can agree or disagree, but I, I like to think that I have a reasoning behind why I say certain things. How the hell is that going to work? Do I do a tier list for the standard cast and then a separate tier list for the tainted characters? That seems a bit... I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced about that approach. But it's going to be a long fucking video if I do all 34 characters in one go. I like this enemy, by the way. It's just a, a float, just a floating host. You know, strange idea. They behave exactly the same as regular hosts. So you leave them alone. You wait until they shoot, and then yeah. I think they have exactly the same HP as well. I'm not sure. Um, it's too early to tell. The uh, Isaac Wiki hasn't <laughs> the Isaac Wiki hasn't updated yet, um, or hasn't finished updating. Here's a weird thing. Why was one of those devil deals? Why did one of those Devil Deals cost Red Hearts and one cost Soul Hearts? That happens again at some point. I'm not sure why. Um, 
Yeah, it's, it's very strange. It, 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 it's it just based on the amount of health I currently have. Because I was fairly certain I had three red heart containers on the previous floor. I don't... I don't know. But yeah, tier list video is a little bit confusing to me at the moment. I guess we we'll kind of just see how things go and how people respond and then base it from there. <sighs> Do people want an hour-long tier list video? Because it's... It's going to take time, it's not going to happen quickly. Um, you know, just be aware. There's, there's not going to be a tier list video anytime in the near future. I, I'm, I will need to play through. I, I want 100% repentance before I even consider doing that. So I want to get all the check marks, I want to get all the, all the unlocks, I want to get all the achievements, I want to get everything. Because then I feel like I have a valid opinion. If you know what I mean. Otherwise I'm just, I'm just saying things I haven't play to the full experience. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, going back to what I was saying before about uh, how I've been playing this game, um, I would 100% recommend the method that I described um, if you're a Mac user and you've also been frustrated by the, the situation regarding repentance. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll leave some sort of instructions in the description about how you can run this game on a Mac computer. Keep in mind though, uh, my laptop actually hasn't been updated for quite a long time. I'm still on High Sierra because I was lazy about updating even before Catalina dropped and as soon as I found out Catalina was abandoning 32-bit support I immediately decided okay not updating any further. So I'm uh, multiple versions behind at this point. My MacBook can still support 32-bit applications, so the the play on Mac method may not work for your needs, um, but I imagine there's probably a workaround, so anyway, there we are, there's Bethany. Um, the rest of the run at this point is kind of Neither here nor there. Look at that more of the void deal. That's two soul hearts and one red heart. What the hell am I looking at here? Very strange. Also, more of the void has been nerfed. Um, the ring doesn't stay as close to your body anymore, and it seems like it does less damage overall. That could be my imagination, but yeah, it's, it's harder to aim. The ring expands and contracts a bit quicker, so... Yeah, actually lining it up with enemies can be a bit of a problem, which is a shame. That used to be one of my favorite items, but, you know, I'll be the first person to admit it was overpowered. More of the Void was ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely one of the best devil deals. People, do people didn't talk about that item enough in Afterbirth Plus. Of course, that fucker hit me with his bomb. Yeah, it's still reasonable, but I'm not sure I ever actually get a black heart from that thing during this particular run. That might just be bad luck. Um, who can say? Um, another item that got nerfed quite noticeably is um, Brimstone. Uh, it had a fairly severe damage reduction. It's still good, it's still Brimstone at the end of the day, but it's not the Brimstone that we're all familiar with. One of the other items I found when I was, um, when I was doing my test runs of this just to make sure that the the Windows emulation wouldn't take a shit and die. Um, I found this active item called Sulphur, which is a, f a three room charge, and it essentially just gives you Brimstone for the current room. I'm not really sure what the point of this is, because, I mean, I guess if you were desperate for Brimstone, it's another way of accessing it, but what's the point? Say you already had Brimstone, this active item is now completely worthless, you'd just rather have like shoot the whoop or something. I don't know, it, it seems strange. Apparently it was bugged when Repentance first dropped as well. Um, you could use it twice in one room and it would give you the effect permanently, but that has been patched. Sadly. <laughs> because it was the first thing I tried, as soon as I got the item I'm just like, okay, we're, we're gonna see if this still works. Um, I didn't play Anti-Birth, for the record. Um, I just didn't really care to, to be honest. I'm not big on mods in general. Very occasionally I'll try something out. I did actually play a bit of um, Revelations ages and ages ago. I think I even recorded some footage. Um, 
But yeah, I didn't think it was anything terribly remarkable. Um, so I didn't play anti-birth either, that's essentially what I'm saying here. So I don't know how good these items were originally. I don't know how good Sulfur was in anti-birth. I don't know how good Bethany and Jacob were. Um, I like the new effect that comes up when you break a shield or you break a holy mantle or something. That's, that's a really nice touch. A lot of the visual flair in this update is really nice, really, really well appreciated. It makes this, it makes this game look more modern. Because Rebirth, man, Rebirth, the aesthetics in that engine, they, they were looking a bit dated by the time of Afterbirth Plus. Um, the game was showing its age a bit, it's it starting to look a bit cheap, if you know what I mean. This looks a lot nicer, just the minor little art style changes, the sound effects, the, the new visual cues for stuff happening. It just looks, it looks higher effort, I don't know how else to say, it looks, it looks like more time and care was put into it. But yeah, I don't know how good anything was in Anti-Birth, so don't quiz me on the differences. Oh, I love this. I tried to use Blank Rune. <laughs> I tried to use Blank Rune on the chest, hoping I'd get, like, Yero or something, and it gave me fucking Black Rune. Like, excuse me? <laughs> I'm sure, I'm fucking sure that Blank Rune couldn't give you Black Rune before. I'm sure that was, like, forbidden in the logic, but... Whatever, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. 5,000 people will tell me I'm wrong. I'm, I'm fairly certain that's new, though. So if you're using Blank Rune for devious game breaks, keep in mind it, it can occasionally just fuck you over with Black Rune. Also, runes aren't compatible with Blank Card anymore. Keep that in mind. There's a Apparently there's a specific item now. Um, a Blank Rune. I don't know if it's actually called that, but that's essentially what it is, is a Blank Rune. Um, I don't know if you have to unlock it, I don't know if it's available from the start, but, you know, that's a thing, keep that in mind. So if you go for game breaks, hmm, blank card isn't going to be as useful. I think blank card had its charge time adjusted as well. I'm not sure. I haven't scoured the wiki for every minor little change. I like how these guys showed up. <laughs> these blue fatties, like, never fucking show up for me, ever. I think I've seen them about maybe eight times in total. I don't know if they're more common now. Um, yeah, they, they certainly never showed up for me in Afterbirth Plus. As far as the the returning Antibirth content goes, though, if there's anything you think is worth mentioning or any differences that I'm not aware of, then you know, by all means, but check the comments first so I don't get like a million people all telling me the same stuff. People said Bethany was really, really bad in Anti-Birth. Um, having done two runs as her in this game, I think she's really good now. So whether that's just me having a controversial opinion or whether she actually was adjusted, I can't say. Um, but no, Bethany's really cool. I'm slightly nervous about Jacob and however you pronounce his partner. Is it Esau? I think it's Esau. I don't know. I can't get the same room twice in a row as well, that's that's pretty good. Um, I'm slightly nervous about the twins though, just because they look so gimmicky and annoying. <laughs> uh, maybe they're more fun than I think they'll be, but they look so irritating to play. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll play them, I'll get the check marks, you know, obviously I will. Um, but... Mm, I'm I'm cautious. <laughs> I I have I have uh, reservations, shall we say? One thing they did quite well in in Revelations that I appreciate is buffing red heart builds. Um, soul heart builds are still very strong, from what I can tell, because obviously polar and negative, etc., etc., etc. But having stuff like the blood oath really does make red heart builds more viable and more interesting as well that was always a problem red heart builds were always boring so even if they weren't bad necessarily they were always the least interesting option in earlier versions of isaac so i'm glad that they've made them a little bit more a little bit more unique a little bit less predictable that it's not just about you know repeatedly tanking hits anymore there's actual benefit to a red heart build um, I mean, Bethany's entirely based around them, so it kind of makes sense that, yeah, they'd rebalance some of the items to take that into consideration. Anyway, um, that's kind of the run. 
as it is, um, you know, we're a blue baby now, so I guess next time I'll be uploading probably the really crazy Bethany seed that I mentioned before because it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know if I want to do commentary or if I should just upload that run completely, you know, verbatim, unedited, just so you can, just so you can see the sheer lunacy that happened there is utterly ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really I'm I'm happy with this. I'm happy with what I've seen so far in this game, and I'm looking forward to to going through the alternate pathways and seeing the new content. You know, I've I've spoiled myself on a couple of things, but seeing isn't the same as playing. So I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. So for now, you know, take care. I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Repentance, everyone. Repentance. What more can I say? <laughs> Completely unscripted outro. Alright.